Hey guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here. Thanks for tuning in. Today it's a very, very important tutorial. We're going to learn how to auto assign issues to anyone in Jira. Why is this powerful? Let's say you have a QA in your team and you want all the issues that are in a column QA to be auto assigned to QA to this person. If there's only one person, for example, he or she doesn't have to do it manually. It takes lots of time. Or let's say if you're moving issues from uh, let's say to done column, you want it to be out, auto unassigned. So if it was assigned to me, I don't want it to be assigned to me anymore because I want to do reports and I do queries, it will show up when it shouldn't because the issue already done and I don't want to track those anymore. So those would be some of the use cases. The way I'm going to show it to you, it will open lots of doors for you. You'll be able to automate your Jira very, very effectively. So let's get right into it. Please follow along and I hope you'll enjoy it. Let's do it. So uh, in my case, I have a Jira board and I have columns to do in progress, thumbnail creation, upload to YouTube and done. In, uh, as an example here, I'll show you how to auto assign issue when you move from in progress to thumbnail creation. And um, I will auto assign it to myself in this case, but you'll be able to auto assign it to anyone or unassign it. So uh, I'll show you how to do all of this. Uh, what you need to do first, you need to go to a project settings. From there, you need to go to workflows. And I have two workflows here. Uh, one is called simplified workflow. You probably have that one and the other is YouTube videos workflow. You can do it in any of them, but I will show you how to do it in YouTube videos workflow because this is the one that I already created. And this is the one that has these transitions I'm talking about. So I click on edit icon and some of you guys are asking me, Anatoly, I don't have an edit icon, so it won't work for me. Well, the problem is permissions. If you don't have right permissions, well, you cannot do that. So make sure you do have admin permissions. Okay. So here we have a list. And uh, to be honest, I enjoy lists, but uh, diagrams are much easier for me. So when I deal with transitions, I usually go to diagram and I'll click on diagram right now as well. So here we see our simple diagram it goes for open to do in progress, thumbnail creation, upload to YouTube, it goes to done. And if you notice when I hover into the arrows, it shows us uh, transitions. So right now we care about in progress to thumbnail creation as I already talked about and this is transition called this video is recorded. So what we're going to do here, we're going to click on this. And when we click on this, we see the pop-up appeared. This is a very powerful pop-up. We're going to have to do more videos on different parts of it, but uh, you can explore it yourself. Let's set conditions, triggers, properties. It allows you to do validators. And today we're going to talk about post functions, which is the last item in the pop-up. Post functions allow us to set up actions after the transition happens. So when they move to in progress, the thumbnail creation before it's totally done, we want something to happen. In our case, we want it to be assigned to a user. So let's click on post functions. Here is, uh, shows you all the steps that happening, set issue status to the link status, to the destination workflow, those are all default one. Add a comment to an issue, update, change history. So this is, you can see what Jira does by default. You can actually remove some of those if you want. Oh, actually those are the default one. They cannot be removed, but uh, the regular ones can. So in the top here, we see in progress, videos recorded, thumbnail creation, and uh, here you see all the default post functions. So we want to add one more. To do that, we click add post function. And this is already very powerful. So it gives you a couple of templated things. Let's say assign to current user. If you want to move something and it auto assigns to yourself, let's say you move something from to do to in progress. Well, probably you're going to work on it if you moved it. So it will be auto assigned to you. Uh, or you can assign it to lead developer, or you can assign it to reporter. You can clear any field. But uh, what I like is, and what we're going to focus today is update issue field. It's very powerful. So this allows us to update any field when the transition happens. So I select this, I click add. And here we are, we have add parameters to a function. So we have issue field, and this can be any field, but for us it will be assignee. 
and we have a field value. So if we, if we have unassigned, it will un unassign it from anyone. If we click um, this one, this allows us to set up a, a field, a custom field. So for us, we want it to be set to Anatoly Spectre. And when the transition happened, we want issue field assignee to be set to Anatoly Spectre. And you can set to anyone here, but I'll just do it for myself uh, to show you an example. We're going to click Add, and here already we have uh, we have the new post function, and it's number one. It says the assignee of this issue will be set to Anatoly Spectre. It's exactly what we need. The last thing before we check it out, uh, we need to publish a draft because this workflow is in a draft state right now. So I need to click Publish a Draft. And if I want to save a backup copy, I click yes and I can save it, but I don't need to. I just want to publish it as it is. And the draft is now active. So we are ready to see if it works or not. So let's go back to our board. Okay, guys, we are back where we started. This is our board. And I have this, still this issue that says uh, Jira tutorial, how to change status in Jira. If I click on it, it's unassigned right now. I'm not going to assign it to anyone, I'm just going to dra drag it to thumbnail creation. So drag it to thumbnail creation, I give it a second and then you see my face appears here. So, uh, And when I check it now, it moved from unassigned to Anatoly Spectre. So did automatically, I did not do anything. You can try it with another issue, if you move this one, it's still unassigned. If I move it to the column. It becomes assigned to me again. So this is very, very powerful. I hope this helps you. If you're enjoying it, please click the like button. If you have any more questions about it, please put the comments down below. Subscribe to this channel because I do it for you and I hope you like it. If you need the help to setting up your Jira, you need help to onboarding your teams to Jira or any Agile help, please go to defineagile.com, schedule a free consultation with me to see how I can help your business. As Anatoly from Define Agile, I appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.